Welcome to my proper unboxing of the MSI Big Bang M Power. This is a Z77 motherboard that <clears throat> changes the game of overclocking, and I'm actually sort of on board with what they're doing here. So, it has a three year warranty, it's got all the usual Z77 features, including support for the latest Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 processors on LG A1155, Windows 7, oh, and Windows 8 compatible. There's that new logo right there. AMD Crossfire, Nvidia SLI are supported. Virtue MVP is also supported, which means you've got things like their virtual. V-Sync as well as Performance Boost. I haven't had that much experience with it being compatible with a wide variety of different titles, but hey, if you find it out that it works for the games that you play, then great. Enhanced components. So you've got their driver MOSFETs, you've got their OCPCB, that's an interesting thing to call it. Solid caps, uh, super ferrite chokes, high C caps, great. So this is all their usual military class three stuff. Hybrid digital power, interesting. Enhanced PWM design with hybrid digital power, designed for overclocking on k SKU CPU. So yes, overclockable CPUs. Eight pin power for the CPU with a six pin auxiliary power for video cards. These are useful and I prefer a six pin to a Molex just because these days I hardly have any Molexes in my system and it's hard to like route one up there. Enhanced thermals. Okay, twin frozer 4 base design. Interesting. Total fan control with all four pin PWM fan connectors on board. And you can customize them in the BIOS or in Windows and monitor and record all the fan speeds. You got your V check points so you can actually use a multimeter to check your voltages because software based ones are not useful. Multi BIOS 2. This has saved my bacon at least once before. Easy buttons, onboard power and reset, clear CMOS button on the back and a debug LED. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are included as well as SATA 36 gigabit per second. You know what? All this information is stuff that we could see by just opening up the board. So I'm sort of done with uh, the outside of the box for now. Here's an overclocking guide. Very cool to have something like that included. Neat stuff. Okay, next we've got the IO shield. Four SATA 36 gigabit per second cables, although it doesn't really make a difference. Antenna for uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, presumably. Cool. All right, you got, ooh, a flexible black SLI bridge, my very favorite kind, and connectors to make those front panel connectors a little bit easier to do. Driver's disc, uh, quick installation guide, certificate of quality and stability. Now, actually, I'm gonna set this aside and we are going to talk about it more later. Software and applications user's guide, motherboard user's guide, and V checkpoint cables so that you can actually you know, plug something into them. All right, motherboard itself. Okay, I haven't even gotten into what's good about this board yet, you guys. This is a very, very exciting board for one particularly important reason, and that is the gorgeous matte black PCB. No, that's not actually it. So the matte black PCB is good, but let's go, let's talk about what makes this board special. So this certificate of quality and stability, we've seen this with products before. However, MSI has really stepped up their game with the M-Power being OC certified. That's the terminology they're using here. OC certified performance power and PWM cooling. However, they really take it to the next level. Check this out. Military class burn-in test. Every single board, that means this board, the board you buy, the board your friend buys, has gone through strict tests to guarantee stable overclocking results. So they actually take every board, they install a CPU liquid cooler, which means the PWM is not getting any particular incidental airflow from their test bench. They overclock a K-series CPU to 4.6 gigahertz or more depending on the CPU not every test platform is exactly the same so a real overclock like not you know an OC Genie overclock like a real overclock then they put it in an unrealistically high temperature environment and they run prime 95 to beat the snot out of the CPU at that overclock setting for 24 hours plus crazy right Every single board is overclocking validated with an overclock CPU the odds of getting a dud M power board is basically nil because every single board is hand tested. That doesn't happen on regular motherboards. Very, very cool stuff. Really stepping up their game right now, these MSI guys. All right, so let's cover the layout. There's your LG 1155 socket, lots of room around it for big coolers, eight pin CPU connectors in its ideal location at the top left. You got your four uh, DDR3 slots supporting dual channel memory. You've also got your onboard power connectors. This is my new favorite spot for them. There's your OC Genie, your reset and your power uh, because once you've got a bunch of cards installed, it's kind of hard to reach the ones that are down here or around here. 24 pin power connector in its ideal location 
location, there's the auxiliary 6-pin for your graphics cards, as well as your V checkpoints for checking the voltages. There's your post debug LED, and again, this is my new favorite location for this. The onboard USB 3 header is at a right angle on the right-hand edge of the board. Perfect. SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second, 4 SATA 2, 3 gigabit per second ports. There's your multi bio switch to switch between the two physical BIOS chips. You've got a couple front USB 2 ports, uh, a couple uh, headers, normal ones, and you've also got a high powered one for charging things like an iPad. Okay, you've got, aha, due to bandwidth allocation limitations, strongly recommended. Okay, so you want to use an Ivy Bridge processor if you're going to use this bottom slot. Otherwise, these ones will run at PCIe 2 8x 8x with a Sandy Bridge or PCIe 3 8x 8x with an Ivy Bridge chip. You've got, this is a fully PCIe board. So you got four PCIe 1X slots and then three PCIe 16X slots. However, physically they're 16 or 884. And this four runs off the chipset, so it's not as good of a four. So basically this is a dual card board. Moving right along to, this is actually, I think this is the best matte black PCB I've yet seen. Slick's giving me the thumbs up because it's so clean, like you can hardly even see the traces. It just looks like if I change the angle a little bit, you can see the traces sometimes probably, but then other times you can, it's like, very stealthy looking. Let's have a look at the Twin Furzer 4 inspired cooler. So it's got a very neat shape to it that actually gives it a lot of surface area, even though you can't see a lot of it. And it's using a nice thick heat pipe. I think uh, MSI's branding for this used to be Super Pipe, but I haven't seen them really use that lately. Check it out, phase LEDs, so you can see how many of your 12 power phases are, uh, are active on the CPU at any given time. So when you're doing something intensive, those are gonna crank up to the top. And when you're not, they're gonna stay right down near the bottom, which is kind of neat stuff. Because when you're not consuming a lot of power, fewer power phases being active is actually more efficient. So there you go, you learned something today. Unless you already knew that, in which case you didn't learn something today. All right, let's have a look at the back IO. You got your PS2 port, I still like to see that. Two USB 2.0 ports, six USB 3.0 ports, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, gigabit ethernet is built in. Display port and HDMI to handle your, audio, or your video out. Remember guys, you can use the onboard video here for your video transcoding functionality and you can use your dedicated graphics card for gaming. You've got optical audio out as well as 7.1 audio out. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Z77M Power from MSI, and I think Slick's letting the camera fall a little bit there. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And don't forget the most important thing about this board hand tested. You want a board that works 100%? Okay, I can't say 100%, but 99.99% it will work if you buy one because it's hand tested. Ah!